Now, the chief financial officer of Huawei Technologies has returned to the corporate stage for the first time since her high-profile return to China last year. Meng Wanzhou took the stage at an annual corporate presentation where she fielded questions directed towards her company. Take a look. Please join me in giving a very warm welcome to our stage, Ms. Meng Wanzhou. In her first public appearance at a corporate event since returning to China from nearly three years of house arrest in Canada, Huawei Technologies CFO Meng Wangzhou delivered the company's annual results on Monday, saying a lot had changed during her extradition battle with the United States. The last time I attended a Huawei annual report press conference was four years ago. The past four years have seen tremendous changes in the world, so in China. In the few months after I came back, I've been trying to catch up. During the press conference, she told reporters that pressure put on the Chinese telecoms giant by the U.S., which has called Huawei a national security threat and imposed trade restrictions on the company, had only strengthened Huawei's resolve. Over the past few years, our teams have undertaken a lot of uh, pressure. And uh, along this process, we have become more united and our strategy has become clearer. Meng, the daughter of Huawei's founder, played a central role in the company's fight with the U.S., having been detained in Canada in 2018 over alleged attempts by Huawei-linked companies to sell equipment to Iran in breach of U.S. sanctions. Meng was allowed to return to China in September after an agreement with U.S. prosecutors to end a bank fraud case against her. Washington's trade restrictions have weighed heavily on Huawei's smartphone business, crippling its ability to design its own chips and source key components from outside vendors. Full-year revenue tumbled 29 percent last year, which Meng attributed to the impact of the U.S. sanctions, as well as supply chain issues. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.